Welcome back, K-pop fans. Today, the topic we are going to discuss is what do we know about 5050's new members? 5050, a rising star in the K-pop scene, is making waves with their dramatic journey and exciting comeback. The five-member girl group, originally known for their debut as a quartet, first captured hearts on November 18, 2022, with their debut EP, The 50. The group's name, 5050, symbolically represents the 50-50 balance between the ideal and the real, capturing the essence of their dynamic musical and visual appeal. The beginnings and breakthrough. 5050's story began with a burst of energy and anticipation. On November 10, 2022, Attract, their management company, unveiled the group's name and hinted at their imminent debut. Just days later, on November 12, the official announcement was made. 5050 was set to debut on November 18 with their first EP, The 50. The excitement was palpable as the music world awaited their arrival. To build anticipation, 5050 dropped a pre-release music video for the track Lovin' Me on November 14, followed by a dance performance video for Log In the very next day. The individual reveal of each of the four original members on November 15 further fueled the excitement. The initial lineup featured Kina, Aran, Sio, and Sayana, each bringing their unique flair to the group. Their debut was met with critical acclaim and a warm reception from fans. By late January 2023, 5050 had already made a significant impact, earning recognition from the Grammys as one of the top 10 girl groups to watch in 2023. The prestigious nod highlighted their potential to shape the future of K-pop. The debut EP, The 50, was praised for its musical brilliance, with the Grammys describing it as a brilliant album, showcasing a vocal maturity that is both hard to find and crucial to have. Music critic magazine IZM also lauded the EP, awarding it a stellar 4.5 out of 5 stars, marking it as the highest rating ever given to a girl group by the magazine. IZM remarked, 5050 is a great example of what happens when a great song meets a good singer. Thanks to them, South Korea has one more good girl group. A new chapter. Despite their promising start, 5050 faced unexpected challenges. In October of the previous year, Attract made headlines when it terminated exclusive contracts with three of the original members, Aran, Shio, and Saina. This decision came amid legal disputes over contract terms, leading to a turbulent period for the group. The departure of these members created a void that Attract aimed to fill with new talent. In response to the situation, Attract decided to reorganize the group around the remaining member, Kina. Announcing a fresh start, the agency planned to introduce new members to join Kina in June. A track's press release revealed their commitment to revitalizing 5050, stating, We've started reorganizing 5050 around Kina. The lineup will be confirmed in April, and the group will release a new single in June. To find new talent, a track held its first open audition in Singapore on February 3, 2024. The audition attracted around 120 young women from Southeast Asia all eager to join the ranks of 5050. The search for new members didn't stop there. Attract continued to hold auditions in Korea and Japan, seeking the perfect additions to the group's revamped lineup. As 5050 prepares for their comeback, the group is poised to redefine their identity and continue their ascent in the K-pop industry. The new lineup, featuring Kina and several new faces, promises to bring a fresh dynamic to their music and performances. Fans and industry observers are eagerly awaiting the group's return, hopeful that the reorganization will create a new era of success and creativity. The excitement around 5050 began to build when Attract first launched their new girl group on November 10, 2022. Just a few days later, on November 12th, the agency officially announced their debut with The 50, featuring the lead track, Higher. The group's energy was palpable as they released a music video for Lovin' Me on November 14th, followed by a dance performance video for Log In on November 15. Each member of the original lineup, Kina, Aran, Sio, and Saina, was individually introduced, further fueling anticipation. By late January 2023, 50-50 had begun to make significant waves. The Grammys recognized them as one of the top 10 girl groups to watch in 2023, praising their debut EP as a brilliant album 
that showcased exceptional vocal maturity. This recognition was complemented by a 4.5 star rating from music critic magazine IZM, which highlighted the group's impressive blend of strong songwriting and vocal talent. Navigating challenges. Despite their promising start, 5050 faced unforeseen challenges. In October 2023, Attract terminated the contracts of three original members, Aran, Sio, and Sena, due to legal disputes over contract terms. This decision marked a significant turning point for the group, leading to a period of reorganization. In mid-June, 5050 found themselves at the center of a stormy legal and public relations battle with their management company, Attract. The girl group filed for a temporary suspension of their exclusive contracts, citing severe violations and a breakdown of trust. This bold move was spurred by mounting frustrations over the company's handling of their affairs. Things took a dramatic turn when Attract's CEO, June, went public with allegations that a third party was attempting to poach the members. This statement, made to the media, further inflamed the situation and drew widespread attention. In response, a law firm representing the 50-50 members quickly issued a statement firmly asserting that the group was acting independently and was not under the influence of any external forces, as suggested by Jun. At the heart of the dispute were concerns about financial transparency. The members accused Attract of withholding crucial financial documents, which they believed was indicative of deeper issues with how the group's finances were being managed. Additionally, the members voiced serious complaints about the lack of support they received from the company. They reported being pressured to continue their promotional activities despite facing health challenges, which only added to their mounting dissatisfaction. The situation worsened when details of Aran's recent surgery and the reasons behind it were leaked to the press. This breach of privacy occurred when Yoon disclosed Aran's medical situation without her consent further eroding trust between the members and their management. The group's call for transparency and respect was clear. They wanted to be fully informed about their financial dealings and treated with dignity, both professionally and personally. Attract responded to these challenges by planning a major overhaul of the group. The agency decided to keep Kina and recruit new members to join her. To find fresh talent, Attract held its first open audition in Singapore on February 3, 2024, attracting around 120 young women from Southeast Asia. The search for new members didn't end there. Auditions continued in Korea and Japan, culminating in a final audition in Thailand on March 2, 2024. Among the judges for these auditions was David Yong, CEO of Evergreen Group Holdings, a Singaporean company investing approximately 10 billion won, around $7.5 million, in Attract. Yong, who himself debuted as a K-pop singer with the single In My Pocket in 2022, brought a unique perspective to the judging panel. The impact of Cupid. Amidst these changes, 5050's breakout single, Cupid, continued to soar. A year after its release, the track re-entered Billboard charts on February 10, 2024 marking its presence on the World Digital Song Sales Chart at number 9, the World Album Chart at number 15, and the Global 200 Exkill US at number 197. Cupid had already made history by securing the number 12, 44 spot on Billboard's annual Hot 100 Songs Chart in November of the previous year. This achievement marked the first time a K-pop girl group song had made Billboard's year-end main singles chart, highlighting the track's significant impact. The success of Cupid extended beyond Billboard. The song also gained recognition globally, earning accolades such as Top 2023 TikTok Songs Globally and K-Pop Song of the Year at the 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards. This success underscored the group's growing influence and the global appeal of their music. New members of 5050. As 5050 navigates through a turbulent phase, the excitement surrounding their comeback has been mixed with a swirl of controversy and speculation. After a series of legal disputes between Attract in the group's management label and several original members, the lineup of 5050 underwent a dramatic change. With three members departing and only Kina remaining, fans have eagerly awaited the arrival of new faces to complete the group's transformation a fresh start with new members. 
In response to the upheaval, Attract announced an extensive search for new talent to rejuvenate 5050. To give 5050 a fresh start, Attract conducted private auditions to find the perfect new members, the company stated. After a rigorous selection process, four new members were chosen to join Kina, bringing the group's lineup to five. This strategic move aimed to revitalize the group and prepare them for a strong comeback. Despite the anticipation, Attract faced delays in their planned return. We understand that many are eagerly awaiting 5050's comeback, the agency explained. However, additional time is needed for the logistics of production and to ensure the highest quality and effectiveness in global marketing. To present 5050 with a completed image, we have decided to push back the comeback from June to September. Teasers and speculation. On July 9th, fans got their first glimpse of the new members through a special reveal on Kina's birthday. This teaser sparked a flurry of speculation across social media. The clip, intended to be a lighthearted introduction, showed Kina's face clearly while the new members remained partially obscured, running around and hiding. The brief and blurry glimpses led to intense online debate about the identities of the new members. Netizens quickly began to speculate, with some suggesting that a trainee from a recent survival show might have joined the group. The buzz centered around two prominent names, Sun Yuan and Chanel. Yuan, who had competed on R Next and reached the final six episodes before being eliminated, was identified by fans based on a profile view in the teaser. Chanel, another well-known trainee from the same show, also drew attention due to her popularity and emotional fanfare following her elimination. Fan reactions and discontent. The speculation about Yuan and Chanel's inclusion has been met with a mix of excitement and disappointment. While the addition of popular trainees usually is met with enthusiasm, the context of their recruitment has sparked controversy. Many fans are disheartened by the circumstances surrounding Attract and the former members of 5050 leading to a significant backlash. One ex-user expressed frustration, stating, the former 50-50 members have become victims of Attract's mistreatment, lack of financial transparency, and destructive media tactics, which have fueled malicious online commentary. This sentiment was echoed by others, with fans voicing their discontent over the situation. Another user remarked, sorry Chanel, but I won't be tuning in. I used to be so excited for your debut, but I'm not excited anymore. I hope the debut flops. Nothing against you, but I don't understand why you would willingly go to a company that did all that messed up stuff to the former members. The disappointment was palpable among fans who had high hopes for Chanel and Yuan. Chanel was my most anticipated trainee from any survival show ever, but there is no way in hell I will be tuning in. I hope a track burns to the ground for what they did to Seiyun, Jiho, and Yuna. If you're tuning in, block me, another fan wrote, underscoring the anger and disillusionment many felt. As the drama continues to unfold, a tract has yet to officially reveal the new members or provide a specific date for their comeback. The company's commitment to revamping 5050 is clear, but the road ahead is fraught with challenges. The backlash from fans and the complex dynamics of the K-pop industry make it uncertain how the new lineup will be received. In the coming months, fans will be watching closely to see how 5050's refreshed lineup fares in the competitive world of K-pop. The story of 5050 is a testament to the highs and lows of the music industry, where talent and drama intertwine in often unexpected ways. Thank you so much for watching this video. Your support means a lot to us. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll be helping us reach more viewers and create even more exciting content. We appreciate every single one of you and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day.